It's the night before Thanksgiving and I think I'm going to be doing a few things just to prepare that way when I cook tomorrow it'll be pretty smooth. I might see if I can get the stuffing made. Um, it's a vegetarian stuffing so it doesn't go in the turkey or anything like that. We're actually not having like cooking a turkey or cooking a ham. Uh, we're having lunch meat which sounds a little silly but um, the turkey they make in store, so it's actually real turkey, and then the ham, we're just getting some black forest ham, just sort of to put on the side of the plate, because it'll go good with um, scallop potatoes that we're having too. Um, I bought quite a few cooking onions there, and then some white potatoes, so I will, yeah, I'll totally wait and do that one tomorrow. I think I might get started on the stuffing. It's actually my Nana's recipe and then my mom cooked it, you know, growing up. That's what we had every holiday. So right now I've got some whole wheat bread that I'm trying to dry out a little bit. So depending on if that's dry enough tonight, I might get started on it. And of course I'll need my mom's help because I totally forget how to make it. But she's right here anyway. Uh, I know the spices that go in it are ground sage and then the uh, poultry, poultry seasoning and some black pepper. So yeah, I'm looking forward to everything. For a vegetable, we're going to be having three different veggies. Um, some string beans and then cauliflower and also some broccoli. I was going to make like a garden salad, but that's way, way too much food. I think maybe I can make garden salad like for lunchtime and then have all these veggies at dinner. And we've got some little dinner rolls there. They're multigrain. Um, I'll probably save them for lunchtime, just the leftover ham and turkey. I'm sure we'll have plenty left over. We can make sandwiches the next day. Excited. I've been looking forward to cooking this and the stuffing is amazing. The scallop potatoes are amazing and they're actually a healthier version of a scallop potato. The only bad thing in it is butter. I also use uh, whole wheat flour to make the roux so that's good too and then milk, 1% milk. So it does kind of lower the calories that way. Alright, okay I'm trying to think what am I going to do first. Um, Hmm. I think I might boil some potatoes because I need cooked potatoes for the stuffing. Yeah, I'll do that. And then I was thinking about pre-cutting a bunch of onions. That might stink up my fridge overnight, so I don't think I'll do that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to sit down and sort of figure it out because, you know, there's a lot of little steps to this. Most of the produce that I get, I always put in the plastic bags they give you. So usually what I do is the ones that I empty out, like the peppers and the oranges, I'll bring them home and empty it out and then turn it inside out just because there's sometimes moisture. So I make sure it's dry and then I put them in my drawer and I've got a ton of bags so it's perfect for you know, the odd time if you're chopping an onion and you don't want it all over your counter or, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. It's just a good place to sort of throw your garbage away while you're cooking. So I'm just making the stuffing and I'm using, um, I used about five potatoes and I just steamed them and then mashed them up. And I've got three slices of bread here that are dried up and a little bit crunchy and then I'm using poultry seasoning and ground sage and also I'm going to saute up um, three onions and then probably one stalk of celery. I've got the onions and celery sauteing with a little bit of black pepper and once this is cooked I'm going to mix it all together with the potato and the bread and Ooh, actually, I have to add the spices to this and butter. Um, probably a tablespoon or two of butter. And as for the spices, the sage and poultry seasoning, 
I'm gonna have to ask my mom. I'm thinking probably a tablespoon of each. All right, finally I'm to the stage where I can mix everything together. Yeah, it's quite a lengthy little uh, process here. So I'm gonna throw the potatoes, the dried up bread, and the mixture of onions and celery. I'm gonna throw it into this bowl, mix it up, and then um, for the sage, I think I'll put one tablespoon, my mom said, and then she said quite a bit of poultry seasoning, so two or three tablespoons, until the color of it gets a little bit dark, and that's how you know you have enough. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this done, and there'll be one dish down. It's already starting to smell familiar. Just putting the spices on the top here, wow, mm, it's so delicious. This is the best stuffing ever. All right, I'm gonna mix it up now. Hey guys, oh, it's so funny. I was just taping a second ago, and my mom's like, started laughing, and she's like, who are you talking to? I said, mom, I'm, ta I'm taping. She goes, oh yeah, oh, that was funny. Yeah, this smells absolutely delicious. I'm so excited. So I'm going to bake it on 350 for, I don't know, it just needs to come together really. And the top will get nice and crispy and crunchy.